it's pointless to make game that runs in 5 or 10 FPS. Gaming is getting more and more advanced with every new release. We are attracted to the mesmerizing graphics and the details of the games. Next-gen games are pushing the boundaries even further. How do they handle vast details of the world? A AAA title companies have hundreds of skilled developers and artists making game possible. As an indie game developer, I'm simplifying the process with the belief that even a small studios and individuals can achieve the quality of AAA title game. Welcome to a AAA game optimization techniques tutorial series. Here I'm gonna show you a great optimization techniques to bring out the most of the performance in your game. In this tutorial series, we will be looking into a 5 different methods of optimization. In this tutorial, we will be looking into 3D asset optimization. In upcoming tutorial series, we will be looking into the graphic optimization, script optimization, audio optimization, and UI optimization. In this tutorial, we'll look into the 6 methods of 3D asset optimization. It's going to be a long video. Without any further delay, let's begin with best way to import uh, 3D objects into our Unity. Let the scale factor be 1 and change mesh compression into high. However, read write enable flag is enabled by default for models. If the model is not used in a mesh collider and it is not manipulated by script, disable this flag to save half of the model's memory. In the normal sentence section, we have three options, import, calculate and none. But since we are using normals from default model, use import. If you are not using a default material, and uncheck import material and apply. By default, Unity imports a generic rig for unknown character models. This can cause an animator component to be added if the model is instantiated at runtime. Select none in animation type. To avoid this automatic addition of animator component, there is no animation for this chair model. So uncheck import animation and apply. And it's now ready for a game. Let's dive into Maya, where I've created a three different sets of model. This is very a digital model with a dense vertices about 165k this is very bad for games let's look into the our second model which holds 399 vertices which is pretty good for pcs and console games but still i would rather prefer this last one which is 124 vertices which is pretty clean it is very easy to pick the detail from the high resolution to low resolution models and this can be done in the various 3d softwares x normals maya blender GBrush etc. Since higher vertex can be expensive in terms of GPU, do not aim more than 100,000 vertices per frame on mobile devices. PC managers, well, even with several million vertices, it is generally good practice to keep the number as low as possible without compromising game quality. If you are trying to crowd your environment with small details. To duplicate a small objects all over the environment is very bad practice. To render objects on the screen, the CPU has a lot of processing to do. Rather than duplicating small objects, combine small detail objects into one in 3D modeling softwares. Combining small objects into one can reduce the work, work needs to be done by CPU. The texture used in 3D object is another factor that affects the performance and size of your game. For many mobile applications, 2K or 1K is sufficient for texture atlases, and 512 is enough for a texture applied in 3D models. Disable the read write enable flag. The read write enable flag causes a texture to be kept twice in memory, once on the GPU and once on the CPU. The, re the read back from the memory is extremely slow. Read write enabled is only necessary when manipulating texture from the script. Disable mitmap if possible. Also, disabling mitmaps can lead to a worse texture sampling performance on the GPU. A using texture compression format suitable for objects means project target performance is crucial for saving memory. Uh, try to limit your texture size below 1K whenever it is possible. You can notice by optimizing texture, we have reduced 2.7 MB texture file size to the 128 KB. Use seamless texture files for three objects that are repeatable. Here is the process of, for creating seamless tiles for your game object.
using seamless text styles not only saves the file size of your game but it also helps to reduce the performance cost. Unity's light can cast shadows from a game object onto the part of itself or another nearby object. Shadows can add great degree of depth and realism to the scene. In the mesh renderer, there is an option for cast shadows and receive shadows. By turning off, you can save lots of performance. You can also use another game object to cast shadow for a complex 3D objects in your game scene. Try to avoid cast shadow and receive shadow as much as possible in your game scene. As your scenes get larger, performance becomes a bigger consideration. One of the ways to manage this is to have a message with a different levels of details or load group. Load groups are used to manage a level of details for game objects depending upon how far the camera is from the object. Level of details LOD is an optimization technique that uses several meshes for an object. The meshes represent the same object with decreasing de details in a geometry. The idea is that low detail meshes are shown when the object is far from the camera and the difference will not be noticed. Now let's look at the example for creating a level of detail. Create a sphere, make it its axis and height 32. Now rename it with a suffix underscore LOD 0. Let's hide this and create another sphere with its subdivision 16. It will be about 300 vertices and rename it with suffix underscore LOD 1. Let's hide this and create another sphere. Let's keep its division very low and rename it with suffix underscore LOD2. In outliner, let's unhide all, create an empty group and let's rename it sphere optimized. Select all and drag to the group. Now let's delete the history and export the group. So this is how to optimize your game performance using LOD groups. Here is an extra video for creating low poly model, sharing UV maps in same texture. Thank you for watching, please comment your feedbacks and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.